And we wanted to make your daily experience just more fluid so you can be more productive and less frustration. So here's an example of picture-in-picture. Uh, picture. Uh, my kids want me to build a lemonade stand for them, so I can just launch YouTube, uh, do some research. I found a video on how to make a lemonade stand. I can start watching it. Now, you know, as, I, as I'm using this, I want to multitask. I want to be able to jot down all the materials I need to buy for it. So all I do is press home, and you'll notice the picture-in-picture picture is automatically created for me. I don't have to do anything. I can move it out of the way. I can launch keep. Then I can add in some more uh, uh, materials I need. So in this case, let's add some wood glue. Um, and it's really quite effective. I can, you know, do some Google searches at the same time. Maybe I want to buy a robot arm to help me build this thing. Um, maybe the video, I can expand it. I get some playback controls. Uh, and what's really nice when I'm done with it, I just simply uh, swipe it away like that. Um, so here's an example of a new version of Maps that we're working on. And uh, it, I'm asking it for directions, so I start um, getting directions. Now at the same time I want to use my phone, maybe I want to set some music. So I can just press home and you'll notice we'll fade in a little picture in picture here. And you can see the directions running here. And at the same time, let's see, I can open, I guess, play music and I can pick some music to what, listen to at the same time uh, as using my picture in picture. Another demo I want to show you is something we call notification dots. And you'll notice that Gmail has a little uh, notification dot on it. And this indicates that the app is trying to tell me something. And what we've done in Android is we've connected that to the concept of notification. So there's actually a notification up here that's associated with it. What's really cool is that if I long press the icon, the app icon, you get the actual notification in place. So you can actually see it here. Um, and we also make sure that the user is always in control. So if I were to swipe away that notification, the dot then disappears also. The use case I want to show you is something we call autofill. Um, and autofill helps take the pain out of logging into an app. So for example, if I launch Twitter and I want to log in. Now I use twitter.com on the desktop all the time. So Chrome knows my username and password because I've asked it to save it for me. Um, and now I can actually give permission to use that, those credentials in apps on Android. So for example, if I hit login, it will automatically suggest my Twitter username. If I tap on that, it fills in my password and then I can log in with a single click. It's something we call smart text selection. The idea here is to make copying and pasting faster. So if I go to messages and I have some text here, usually in Android what you do is you double tap or you long press a word to select it. So I can double tap the word byte to select it. So we've built a machine learning model, a feed forward neural network to recognize more complicated entities. So for example, this phrase old coffee house here, if I tap anywhere on it, we will automatically select the entire phrase for you. Now what's really cool is it also works for addresses. If I double tap anywhere on the address, like so, you'll see that the system selects all of it for me. What's more is the machine learning model classifies this as an address and suggests maps. So with a single click, I can get directions. And of course, this works as you expect for phone numbers. If I double tap phone numbers, it will suggest the phone dialer. And it will also work for email addresses. If I double tap the email address, it will suggest Gmail for me.